Hey there, new LAT. This is Greg T from BNI Regional. Uh, just this is a, a quick uh, overview video on some of the first steps that uh, will help you to uh, you know get into your role better and to find the things that you're going to need for yourself and your leaders, uh, your leadership team, uh, what, uh, from all the roles that you have in your chapter. Now, um, uh, just a real quick one. So this is a little bit uh, going to show you your uh, BNI uh, chapter dashboard, uh, how that leads to your uh, communications dashboard for your communications team, um, everything that's available for yourself as an LAT. Uh, we'll cover your member portal and a very important one here, social media access. So um, let's kind of go and cover that. First of all, here is the link to get to the dashboard for your chapter. Um, I will be using my chapter BNI Optimum as an example for this one, um, only because I have direct access there. It just kind of makes things uh, easier to jump in. Um, have access to all the chapters, but just so you, as you understand, you know this is what yours will look like. If you go to dashboard.bnisalberta.ca, you will immediately take into the video, how do I access this dashboard? And um, what that does, um, our, uh, our, fr our, our good friend Bartek, who has helped us with a lot of our internal systems uh, that we use here in BNI Alberta South, has uh, done a video that explains how to make sure that you get access to your chapter dashboard. Now, it's important, first of all, that the LET has all of the members um, that are in specific roles added to um, those roles in BNI Connect. So when you're doing your chapter planning and you're making sure that everybody has their roles assigned, um, you know, make sure the names are in there, specifically on the communications events um, side, the marketing team or the social media um, slash webmaster, depending on how which term you're looking at, because Global has some different ways of uh, putting some of these things. Um, making sure the names are in there because how this works is when somebody goes in to access the dashboard, which has many of the links and gives them the permissions to access a lot of the things you're going to need, such as if you're, um, you know, some such as slides, announcements, forms, um, logos, um, uh, templates for uh, marketing materials, for doing your own advertisement, so on and so forth. You do need a Google account to access that. Now that Google account needs to be associated with the same email that you use or used for BNI Connect. Because the way it the way the system works is you get the access to uh, Connect um, base or sorry to uh, all of our dashboards based on your role in Connect, not you yourself or your specific email. Reason being, when we have a, uh, a region as large as it, as it is, this makes it much easier to do the trans, uh, to do the uh, changeovers to the new people that uh, take over different roles. And that may happen during the year as well. If somebody leaves or somebody changes roles, we just ask that you uh, to make those changes and then reach out to admin and we can make sure that you get uh, the right people, get the right access. There may be some time specifically at the change over time where there is a bit of an overlap and there's some time frame where access isn't readily available. We apologize for that, but do our best to try and get this going as fast as possible. So once you've done uh, the video, you understand the, how that works. You've uh, um, created the Google account with your email that's connect that's uh, the same as the one you use in BNI Connect. You will be able to go to you know dashboard.bnisalberta.ca, and then when you go in here and you notice on that on the top, you can select the chapter. You select your chapter, and here's one one of the things you're going to get. Now, I'm not going to know any of the uh, private um, sections here, such as uh, your applications, visitors, renewals, uh, mentorship stuff, uh, the chapter wig, uh, um, training logins specifically. I'm not going to show that here and emails. But what I am going to show you here is, you know, the links page. This links page is going to give you access to a lot of different things. Uh, you see right off the bat here, you've got your chapter communications folder. That's where you're going to find most of the uh, um, yeah, slides and marketing materials and stuff for, for your communications team. Um, LET automatically will have access to uh, social media. I'll tell you that. And on that level, I'm going to show you something in a little bit, how to make sure other people get access. Now on the chapter drive, uh, chapter drive here, that's for your chapter use for storing files, maintaining things, you know, within your leadership team, your membership committee might want to use some of that too. This is the space um, that we have given you and set up for you so that you don't have to create, um, uh, you know, Dropbox folders and things internally that may get lost or, or, or if a member leaves, you, you lose access to. This is all given to you by the regional team. This isn't necessarily even a global thing, but we've done this so that you have this all available to you. Next links for your for the LET. Of course, you can read through that. You've got uh, um, uh, your uh, success meeting form that your VP fills out. You've got uh, the LET meeting form for your chapter. You know the governing guidelines that are available, so you can see you know regionally approved practices and things. Such if you have questions on how to do whatever that may be.
Links for supporting uh, visitors and things. You will find uh, uh, where to send people for setting up and registering for your meetings, uh, what they do next and how, um, once they've uh, attended a meeting, or how to apply for membership. Uh, for supporting members, you know, your passport link is right there. Um, seat change, that's a very, very important one because that can happen. If you have a seat change, you know, and your company's changing names, for instance, that's another place to, uh, to also apply there. And that goes through the same process as an application just so we make sure we get the right change in play for you. Uh, BNI transfer policy labeled there. Um, overall BNI policies, uh, BNI game directions for when you're doing the BNI game. Uh, for the membership committee, we have the accountability letters, and then we have different training forms. You know, to 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 go and do tests for some of these forms, so you see how they work. Um, the feedback form, membership application, and the renewal form are all there. And again, these are set up as tests for you to look at, so you can see what the process is. Your members and or visitors who are applying would be going through just to understand that. Now, furthermore, what another place for is great access for you is the uh, uh, BNI member portal. Uh, that is on the bnisalberta.ca website. And if you go under contact us, it's got member portal right there. Now, my apologies for the smaller screen here. We just kind of did that for uh, working with the uh, the previous portion of the recording. But um, as you can see here, you're going through here, you're going to find that we have links to lots of different sections here for depending on what your role, where your roles are. We have your general member links chapter links, regional team link links, and senior regional team links, as well as an F FAQ section that we're just starting right now. So that's going to be brand new. First thing we're putting in is how to find and use the dashboard, which is probably going to link to this video. And uh, next one here, we're going to be, uh, we've got the section there for if you have a link request form. I'm going to change that to request form. So if you've got any other ideas or suggestions that we can make the portal even better, then we'd love to put that on here to make it one place so all our members can go there to find and get a, gain access to what you need. As you can see right here in the chapter leadership one there, your chapter dashboard link is already put there. So you can actually go directly to that just using the member portal. You don't have to remember that URL, which is nice. Uh, closed business reporting guidelines, reporting to you login, meeting hub info. Um, if you're curious about meeting hub and uh, want to take a look at that, we've got that, that link right there for you. We're also going to add the social media uh, um, link there, which is this one here. Now the social media link one is for... If you have, um, you know, I guess what it comes down to is immediately with the changeover, LETs automatically get access to all the chapter public facing pages. Now, please note that this is concerning the public facing pages, not your private groups, but just your public ones. So if you were to go to uh, Facebook and do a search for any of the chapters, let's just kind of go, you know, BNI Elite, for instance, you would go to a search for BNI Elite. You find them on the public side. That is the public facing um, uh, page we are speaking of. Perfect one for using for chapter promotions, for events, for you know gaining more regist registrations. As long as you get your members to share and you, uh, you know, we've, we've seen some very very nicely active ones. Uh, BNI Horizon does a great job with some of theirs. They also use their their access to um, Instagram. Uh, um, there's LinkedIn uh, links, and we also have a chapter YouTube playlist that you can, that can be used. But here's the thing. LAT gets access to these accounts, you know, uh, we, we'll speak mainly to the Facebook one here. And then that's kind of the, the main setup. Well, we've also created this form so that we can have our, our chapter members um, request access for other people within their chapter. Note, if you do have a, you need third party ask, um, access, you know, Put them down here. Let's then we'll talk about how that is. So third party access is anyone that isn't really isn't currently a BNI member. The reason we ask this is some um, uh, chapters have chosen to work with uh, um, you know promotional companies or prom or SEO companies or um, you know uh, ad companies that are helping them to gain more traction or more visitors uh, to their pages. Great, we can add, we can get that in place for you, but. We'd like to, uh, you know, how you know, be introduced so we know exactly how to do that. Here's where you can get you can schedule a one-to-one -one with me to uh, go over that, so we can set that up the best way possible. Now that also includes the fact that we all have a there. Each chapter has a chapter uh, uh, um, page as well, our chapter website. You know, our our naming structure is is simply bni chapter name .ca. 
Only one chapter actually in our region has a slight variance of that, and that is bni-sunrise.ca because there was already a previous uh, BNI Sunrise in existence. Um, yeah, so go on there and you can check out any of the chapter pages that way. If you would like to add something or have something specific to your chapter pages, please again, contact us here and we'll talk about what is available and what you can do yourself. Lastly, I want to cover some of the things that we discussed in Summit. Summit had a lot of downloads or had downloads that were available to everybody. I'm going to go here. And yes, post-Summit downloads are still available and they will remain available for you. So if you go to summit.bnisalberta.ca, you will come to this that first page and then you can go to your resources for your downloads. The reason we, reason we mentioned this one here is your chapter ATB banking information can be downloaded there. Um, that's a good follow-up to the email that you uh, probably or would be receiving here as an LET with this information as far as what the, uh, this video uh, link here and uh, helps to help you and help all of your team members to start and start uh, on, on any positive note. Uh, please note too that there's also a whole bunch of other downloadable files there. Chapter business plan, uh, 2022 link for uh, our presidents. We have the chapter events marketing guide and our membership uh, uh, committee. Uh, that's also, you know, looking at the marketing team speaking up. Uh, branding guide, social media guidelines, a monthly planner and chapter events marketing ideas. Some great downloads to help your team be more successful in their roles. The Passport Mentor roster um, uh, link right there on the mem mentor side. Uh, great educational moments download for our educational coordinators. Um, we may be, uh, you know, we'll keep this active for you and we'll put a link uh, to this in the member portal as well. So that pretty much sums up everything. Uh, here's to having a great year, guys. Uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, really, some major successes here. Ultimately, we are here to support each other. We are here to help you. And uh, you know what? Uh, our success and your success, we're tied together. Love to work together to make sure that everybody has that positive success that we're going for. So take care. Have a good year. And if you have any questions, do feel free to reach out. And hey, on the portal support contacts. There's some of the places you go to if you need any extra assistance. Otherwise, if you go to the contact uh, uh, main contact page here on the bnisalberta.ca website, you'll also see uh, links to getting a hold of all of our team. And that's everything. So have a great one, guys. Looking forward to it.